Today I've got a brand new Zobi Anime July 2020 mystery box. This isn't just, just a mystery box. This has an autographed Funko Pop inside this mystery box. In K, I'll be straight up honest with you. I am not that knowledgeable about anime, but sometimes I like picking up mystery boxes of subject matter that maybe I don't have a whole lot of knowledge of just to review the items, just to kind of give a first-hand perspective of maybe somebody who doesn't have any idea what they're talking about. Somebody who might butcher 99% of all the names in it, might not even know how to pronounce the franchises in it, but it, it, it'll be fun making fun of me as I try to butcher all the names and places and characters in anime. So bear with me here. But this is just an honest review from just a random old guy on YouTube reviewing the Zobi Anime 2020 July Mystery Box. Let me tell you about this. So the franchises in this are Dragon Ball Z. I actually learned something. Do you know that there's a difference between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super? I didn't know that. Never watched either of them, but I guess I called Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Z. I made some people pretty upset one time whenever I did that. And I was, oh, there's a difference? I didn't know. There's a difference. So Dragon Ball Z is in this. And then there's a franchise called Helling, it looks like, and then one called Code Gias, Le Luich of the Rebellion. That's a really cool name on that one. I've never heard of those last two though, so I'll be interested to see what kind of items come out of those. So this start this started shipping on July fifteenth, twenty twenty. It is currently sold out. This was forty dollars, and the anime boxes usually sell out pretty quickly on the Zobie's website. As always, always leave direct links down below to the Zobi website. I open up a lot of mystery boxes from Zobi. They have, in my personal opinion, the best mystery boxes in the business. They've got anime, they've got animation, they've got horror, they've got pop culture, they have heavy metal music mystery box, which actually is available for sale right now. I've already got one coming. I already purchased mine, the heavy metal music mystery box. And they've got wrestling boxes, and they do private signings all over the country with celebrities. That's in-person signings, JSA authenticated. You, you know you're getting legit signings. They're also doing a program right now called the V-Shouts. Since the convention scene right now this year is pretty much canceled, if you want it, your favorite celebrity to actually give you a personal message while they sign your item, they will actually give you a personal shout out on camera as they sign your item, so, which is pretty cool, right? So uh, check out Zobi's website. You can order V shouts right now from a whole list of celebrities. So check it out. So I guess I'm gonna stop rambling. But uh, oh, and if you do buy anything, I do have a personal promo code that you can use on the Zobi website. Use promo code Kicks10. That's K I C K S one zero to save ten percent off of most everything on the website. This box, yeah, thirty six dollars instead of forty. You use my promo code, you save four bucks. Think about it. It's always good to save a little bit of money, right? Because whenever you buy a lot of stuff, like I buy a lot of mystery boxes, I try to save every little dollar I can <laughs> because it starts adding up. Save a little bit of money. I can keep buying more and more and more mystery boxes. What's actually nice with mystery boxes, items that you do not want, you can sell them on eBay. You won't like every item in every mystery box. And if you don't, it's okay. Sell it on eBay. You can get some of your money back. Sometimes with the Zobi boxes, you can actually sell some of these items and get more back than what you paid and even keep an item or two. There's been times like that with the Zobi boxes. You can sell half the box, get all your money back plus some and keep an item or two for totally free. Think about it. So here we go. Paper on top. All I'll see right here is the Funko Pop. Put it off to the side, we'll do that absolutely last from this box. Let me reach in, let me find a monthly pin. Here we go, monthly pin. I'll show you first on camera what it looks like. Okay, and we have mm, it's actually a very cool looking pin. 
It looks like a guy who's wearing a cape. He's got the spiky hair. It kind of looks like an anime version of Doctor Strange. Kind of. Kind of a cool pin. This says it's limited edition. I have only 250 made. Zobi sometimes they do what they call Easter eggs. Or they'll have limited edition version. Let's say if this is actually... Let's say if this is the common version. They may have some that's only limited to like 100 or 50 of them. So be on the lookout for that for Easter eggs. Okay, next. Reach back in. Okay, we have an art print. So most of your money in this box is going to be in the autograph Funko Pop. Because that pop by itself retails 10 bucks. Most people to get it signed is like $30, sometimes $40. Plus JSA authentication can be upwards of 20 bucks. So most of your money, use that pop is worth more than what the box costs. That's not a joke. Here we go with the art print. Who is it? What's it of? Is it awesome? Okay, so this is that Helsing thing. Oh, <laughs> on the little preview I was looking at on my phone, it had like the, it just had Hell and then ING. There's actually an S mill of it. You can't really make it out. So it's Helsing. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is actually like a Dracula theme anime show. That was kind of cool, actually. Kind of like a Van Helsing kind of anime themed anime show that's going on, I guess. This is actually hand numbered 113 out of only 450 made there on the bottom. Okay. So, only thing left in the box is the cheat sheet. Obviously, we'll do the cheat sheet last. Go ahead, pull it out, put it right there inside of the box. Here we go with the autograph Funko Pop. This is what people buy this box for. The anime box always sells out very fast every single time because people want this signed Funko Pop. You ready for this? I guarantee you, even if you don't like this character, if you don't like the series, if you don't like it, you can probably sell this pop for 40, 50 bucks at least. At least, you can get all your money back with just this pop. You, you can probably sell this pop, keep these for free if you want. But, you're buying it for this. You're going to want to keep this. You ready? In three, two, one. Who we have? We have, oh, nice. We got Frieza. That's kind of cool. Sign like a purple pin with Frieza. The back of the pop. We have the JSA authentication. We're going to pull this out. We have the JSA authentication card on the back of it. The side of this thing, you'll see the JSA authentication sticker. The card will match it. So we had a JSA rep that actually was there that witnessed it and they authenticated it. And the card matches the stamp. So you know, this is 100% authentic. Signed by, let's find out the cheat sheet. I'll show you first. Looks like there was a possibility of three different kinds of pops. You had a purple sign, a white sign, and then signed with a quote. So it says, your Funko Pop has been hand signed by the voice of Frieza in Dragon Ball Z, Linda Young. This autograph was authenticated by Jane Smith's authentication, includes sticker hologram and matching COA card. It says, watch out for autograph upgrades with special inscriptions. Obviously, this is not a special inscription, but this pop by itself is worth more than what the box costs you. That is not a joke. You don't believe me? Look this up on eBay. I guarantee they're probably being listed for probably 50 bucks, I bet. So that's actually a fantastic deal right there for just this Funko Pop right there. Just that right there. That's freaking money right there. Dragon Ball collectors are fanatics. So then we got the exclusive fan art print. It was inspired by Helsing, created by Alfred Manzano and numbered to 450. Then there's actually two separate pins. I got the kind of like Doctor Strange looking pin. It says your exclusive two inch fan art pin features one of two designs and inspired by Code Geass, both numbered to 250. So you had this character or like Doctor Strange looking character. Possibly two different pins and I got, I think the cooler of the two out of this box. So all in all for 40 bucks, 
my honest opinion, if you're collecting Funko Pops and autographs, that's good 50 bucks right there. Another 15, 20 bucks right here. You can either say 65, maybe 70 in value. Use my promo code. You guys, for 36, you can almost almost double your value right here. <laughs> if you don't like this stuff, you can sell this and you can double your money if you want. So it's kind of like a win-win, but if you're a collector of anime, yeah, that's freaking awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, two big thumbs up to Zobi once again. Drop it down below to Zobi. I'll see you next time. I'm out.